Can a South African born coach take back Keza Chiefs to its former glory days? Something I've gathered amongst uh, the Keza Chiefs supporters is that they're actually convinced and they believe that there is no South African born coach that must be given a chance again at Naturen. Maybe I need your opinion on this. What do you see? Do you think there is a, a South African? Obviously, the one name that will always pop up when you are bringing up uh, that role of uh, head coach at Keza Chiefs is a Pito Musimane. Do you think Pito Musimane will actually coach Keza Chiefs? Well, I do go by the name of a sense of football, where I discuss anything to do with football from Africa to the world and from the world to Africa. Well, it's clear that in this episode, we are discussing that head coach position at Naturena. Until the club make an official announcement rumors and speculations will continue circulating and um, there are a number of coaches that have been linked to that job we all know that kevin johnson is vacating the role and um, there's four coaches four decent foreign coaches that have been linked to that position number one um miguel gamondi the current uh, Tanzanian Premiership champion, uh, younger, younger coach is an Argentinian coach, former Melody Sundance coach, very good coach, uh, capable, is a winner, capable of uh, occupying that hot seat in Naturena and actually bring some changes. These guys are going into their 10th year uh, trophy drought, even in the Bible, you'll never see uh, a famine or a drought of 10 years. So their supporters are suffering. The management, they can see all of this. We've seen a lot of changes at Kaiser Chiefs with coaches. I'm sure they've changed about eight or nine coaches in this nine-year drought. And uh, nothing has changed. I mean, they've changed coaches. But in the management, we've even seen a lot of changes except the role of uh, Kaiser, Kaiser Jr. And, uh, but uh, being linked with the Gamond, Gamond is a decent coach. He's a good coach. Um, he, I mean, younger, younger plays, uh, a good, good football. And, uh, one thing I've noticed about elite coaches around the world is that uh, they are able to adapt according to who they play against. They will not be naive and just throw everything. You remember Ancelotti facing Pep Guardiola at, at Etihad this season. Uh, as much as Real Madrid is a fierce and a formidable side, but Ancelotti uh, was wise enough to know that you can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Man City in their own background. Otherwise, they will slaughter you. So he had to make a plan. So that's what I, I, I've noticed with even a Gamondi. Gamondi approaching Sundowns, he was like, okay, these guys, uh, technically, they are better than us. They are, most of their players are very good. Uh, so I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. The best thing for me is to approach them um, with a, a low block and play on a counter. But when they are playing uh, inferior sides, they are then able to impose themselves and play on the floor, relying on width, a big striker on top, uh, uh, Kawunda, forgot the other guy, and um, with a, a very good creative player in Ki Aziz. So Gamondi is a decent coach and he can make a lot of changes uh, at, at Kaiser Chiefs. Another coach is Nabi. Nabi that they were supposed to bring to Naturena, but they didn't. This guy will be expensive for them if he eventually wins the Moroccan league because now he's Tunisian, he's coaching in Morocco. And uh, if he, he goes on to win the, the Moroccan Botola, uh, he's going to be very expensive for Kaiser Chiefs, maybe the guy again, it's going to be difficult for Kaiser Chiefs to attract these 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 uh, these coaches. They are currently coaching clubs that compete in CAF Champions League of CAF Confederations uh, uh, Cup come next year. And Kaiser Chiefs, they are not going into Africa; they'll be competing domestically. So that's another another challenge for Kaiser Chiefs in attracting like Miguel Gamondi or even a Nas. Uh, Navi that they failed to bring over because of simple things like him uh, allowing him to bring uh, his technical staff members. A third coach, 
I believe the guy is Portuguese, he's coaching in Angola, he's not happy in Angola. He might be leaving the Angolan league, probably guy wants a new challenge. This guy, uh, defensive minded, just like a Jose Mourinho, um, again, just like the previous coach. Elite coaches, they know how to play inferior sides, they know how to play uh, teams that are superior to them. Uh, brilliant on the counter, and they've got he's got good ball players. He's the one coach that I, I've seen employing a three three four three. Uh, he's got good ball playing um, defenders. The three at the back, and normally the central uh, defender is the one. It's normally pinned to if I'm pronouncing the the surname correctly. That will push in and assist the guys in the middle. And he's got uh, a good uh, wing backs or full backs or whatever you call them in that midfield four. So Alexandra Santos, a Portuguese. Is another decent coach that will will probably do better than the other guys who've been at, at Kaiser Chiefs for the past nine years. Now the question is, uh, or maybe um, controversial uh, point I'll make now is that maybe is our Kaiser Chiefs supporters part of the problem at Kaiser Chiefs? Because at this point in time, one virtue or factor that will be needed by the supporters is tons and tons and tons of um of patience uh which at this point in time i don't know if the chief supporters uh, will be able to draw patients from their reserves these guys are empty all they want is to lift a trophy so so any coach that comes now tons and tons of patients are needed from the supporters because if supporters are not happy they are the very first ones to boot or to put pressure on the management to kick out that current coach so so these are all decent coaches who can come into the club and bring uh, good changes but they will also need some time the last foreign coach linked to the Kaiser Chiefs um, hot seat is Saeed Ramovic the current TS Galaxy coach we've seen how he has played um, uh, he has uh, formed Kaiser Ch I mean uh, TS Galaxy his systems his schemes his formations, uh, how he plays. He also likes playing with the big boys. Uh, big boy up top uh, uses a lot of width. Uh, and uh, he, if, although he's coaching a smaller team, but Test Galaxy is a ball is a ball playing team. Maybe something because uh, the chief supporters will will appreciate. One negative about Ramovic is the fact that he's not won anything in his coaching career. At this point in time, all Kaiser Chief supporters want is to lift a trophy. Those were the foreign coaches linked to the Kaiser Chiefs hot job. Now, is there a South African capable of actually taking that hot seat? Uh, the nine years we've seen Clive, uh, almost said Clive Parker, we've seen um, um, the guy at Supersport, uh, Kevin Hunt, uh, Steve, uh, Steve Compella. Uh, Athazwan has been given a chance. Uh, Kevin Johnson and uh, Ntsegi. These guys have all been poor, extremely poor. Foreign coaches who were there is your Midden Dop, is your Salinas. Midden Dop, I must say, he was not given a chance. I mean, to take a club to a run up position, only a one point difference between them and Wales Sundowns in that 2019 2020 season, the, um, the COVID season. Uh, I believe that they had uh, they given Middendorp another year. Uh, maybe you would have done you would have done uh, better better the previous season. But again, the element of Kaiser Chief supporters, uh, Kaiser Chief supporter uh, supporters, uh, bringing pressure and putting pressure on the management is the very reason why Kaiser Chiefs is where they are today. Coaches are never given time to breathe. Coaches are never given time to really. Uh, build something clear. Maybe something the uh, Kaiser Chiefs uh, management or or Kaiser Senior, the doctor, must clearly define to all these coaches is what how, what type of play he wants for his team, the philosophy, the identity, and um, the recruitment uh, and, you know, and policy. I mean, the recruitment and scouting from the team must also 
it must work hand in hand with the coach or anyone who works with the coach at the club so these are the things that have um we've seen to 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 be bring a lot of, of negatives with the type of coaches they've brought in into the club now i've made i've mentioned the coaches who were south africans were given a chance at this beloved club now four coaches or south african coaches i will mention uh, which i believe can do a better job than the than the other ones the obvious one is a pizza musimani benny mccarthy whose contract at menu is ending come june july and then you have a mangoba community they've been linked with and then you have uh, uh, someone underrated, um, Eric Eric Tinkler, who's a current coach at Cape Town City. Uh, Benny McCarthy's system and formation, he, <clears throat> he you can see he come from the school of thought of Jose Jose Mourinho. He he's a as a as a transition uh, type of a coach. Win the ball, get it forward as quick as you can and uh, he also relies on you know on brilliant number 10s uh, creative uh, players up top whether big or small and uh, he needs some quick uh, wing bags and quick wingers so that's that's a type of play but i think if benny can come to Kaiser chiefs the one problem is going to have with the management is that uh, he does not want to be controlled. And uh, over the years, we've seen that uh, the family, Bobby, uh, they want to control everyone who comes there, especially with uh, the recruitment of new players. Uh, so that's where the clash might be with Benny McCarthy and Kaiser Chiefs management. Pito Musimane is a huge brand. Kaiser Chiefs is a big brand. Now, when these two big brands uh, collide, one of the two must compromise. And between the two, I don't see uh, Kaiser Chiefs compromising. When Peter comes to a club, he needs a checkbook. He needs uh, uh, people who got an eye for good players. Will Kaiser Chiefs compromise in getting what Peter wants when Peter wants it? Will they release players Peter does not want at the club? I don't see that happen. That's why I'm, I'm a firm believer that uh, at this point in time, Peter Musiman will not coach will not coach a Kaza Chiefs team. I don't see it happening at all. Mangoba Mngiti, out of all these guys, will probably the one that um, uh, a Kaza Chiefs fans will uh, will not really champion to come to to Kaza Chiefs. Uh, but Mangoba Mngiti is a winner, a serial winner for that matter. He won. Uh, a silverware with a golden arrows. He won some silverware under Pito. And uh, we've known him from arrows that he plays good, attractive football. At this point in time, what management want, what the fans want, they just want to win. I'm not sure if uh, they are for pretty football or they just want winning first then the pretty football, attractive football will follow thereafter. Be guaranteed of one thing, that with Mangoma Mngiti, there's going to be uh, attractive attractive football. And then Eric Tingler is another one, very good coach, that has not been given a chance. If Kaza Chief decide to give an Eric Tingler a chance at, uh, at Naturena, I'll, I'll be happy. In fact, if Kaza Chiefs, they employ any of these four coaches, especially a Pito, a Benny, it is going to be good for PSL uh, for, for, for many reasons. Because the Chiefs need a big coach. Because the Chiefs needs a, a disciplinary. Because uh, the Chiefs needs a, a coach with, with, with character. But again, with having, with, with having given all these uh, having coaches a chance in the nine-year drought, uh, the chances of Kaiser the Chiefs going back to South Africa are very slim. So we might see... A Gamundi, we might see a Nabi, we might see a Santos, we might see a Ramovic. I do not know. Seeing this face and this content for the very first time, do hit that like button. Really encourages me and actually helps spread the video to like-minded people like you or people who go to YouTube to 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 search for similar content uh, in in Africa 
and in the football space so do hit that like button do comment what do you think about this uh coaching uh challenge for Kaiser Chiefs what do you think will eventually happen uh are they going to go are they going to go for a foreign coach are they going to maybe give another South African a chance I don't know uh don't forget to subscribe and share the video on all your social and that's how I powered on this video and may my God bless you all